The Purple Cow, Reflections on a Mythic Beast Who's Quite Remarkable, at Least, by Gillette Burgess. Read for LibriVox.org for April Fool's Day, 2006, by Amanda. I never saw a knitted cow. I never hope to see one. But I can tell you, anyhow, I'd rather see than be one. End of poem. The Purple Cow Reflections on a Mythic Beast Who's Quite Remarkable, at Least by Gillette Burgess Read for LibriVox.org For April Fool's Day, 2006 By Annie Coleman I never saw a polka-dotted cow I never hoped to see one But I can tell you anyhow I'd rather see than be one End of poem The Purple Cow Reflections on a Mythic Beast, Who's Quite Remarkable at Least, by Gillette Burgess. Read for LibriVox.org, for April Fool's Day, 2006, by Aaron Hockwimmer. I never saw a hash A020 F0 cow. I never hoped to see one. But I can tell you, anyhow, I'd rather see than be one. End of poem. The Purple Cow Reflections on a Mythic Beast Who's Quite Remarkable, at Least By Gillette Burgess Read for LibriVox.org For April Fool's Day, 2006 By Catherine Eastman <laughs> I never saw a psychotic cow <laughs> I never hope to see one <laughs> But I can tell you, anyhow <laughs> I'd rather see... <laughs> Then be one. End of poem. The Purple Cow Reflections on a Mythic Beast Who's Quite Remarkable, at Least by Gillette Burgess. Read for LibriVox.org for April Fool's Day, 2006 by Juan Carlos Bagnell. I never saw a zombie cow. I never hoped to see one, but I can tell you anyhow, I'd rather see than be one. End of poem. This recording is for the public domain, which is good, because why anyone would want to pay for what I just did to this cute little poem would be completely beyond me. The Purple Cow Reflections on a Mythic Beast Who's Quite Remarkable, at Least, by Gillette Burgess. Read for LibriVox.org for April Fool's Day, 2006, by Joe Clune. I never saw a floating green cow, I never hoped to see one, but I can tell you, anyhow, I'd rather see than be one. End of poem. The Purple Cow Reflections on a Mythic Beast Who's Quite Remarkable, at Least, by Gillette Burgess. Recorded for LibriVox.org on the occasion of April Fool's Day, 2006, by Fox and the Stars of ShiningHalf.com. I never saw a double-dip chocolate mint cow. I never hope to see one. But I can tell you anyhow, I'd rather see than be one. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Purple Cow Reflections on a Mythic Beast Who's Quite Remarkable, at Least By Gillette Burgess Read for LibriVox.org by Old Man With a little help from Robert For April Fool's Day, 2006 uh, do I start reading now? In just a moment, I need to finish the disclaimer first. For more information on this cast of characters, please visit Climber53.com. Okay, you can start now. All right, here goes. I never saw a Palomino cow. 
I never hoped to see one. Wait a minute. That's not in the poem. Horses can be Palomino, but not cows. I ain't never seen no purple cow, neither. <sighs> Try it again, please. I never saw a Paisano cow. I never hoped... Hold on, hold on. A Paisano cow? Where the heck did that come from? Is this a poem about an Italian cow? I, I don't know. You keep interrupting me. How's a man supposed to keep track of it all? Look, it's a simple poem of four lines and 24 words. It would seem that you could get through it without all this trouble. You know, my doctor doesn't want me to eat beef anymore. He says it's bad for my arteries. Wants me to eat soy instead. I guess that's okay, but it, it makes me gassy. <sighs> Look, can you just stick to the poem as it was written? Please try it again. I never met a pancreatic cow. Pancreatic cow? What are you talking about? A cow can't be pancreatic. Only things that come from the pancreas can be pancreatic. That old gal that lives down the hall from me has pancreatic fibrosis. We can talk about that later. Let's try to finish the poem. Well, you'd quit interrupting me. Okay, you can start. I never saw a parabolic cow. I never hoped to see one. But I can tell you anyhow, I'd rather see than be one. Uh, how was that? I guess it will have to do. How the hell can a man be a cow anyway? I think it's time for your medication now. We can talk about cows later. End of poem. The Purple Cow Reflections on a Mythic Beast Who's Quite Remarkable at Least by Gillette Burgess. This is Fox in the Stars of ShiningHalf.com recording the straight version for LibriVox.org on the occasion of April Fool's Day, 2006. I never saw a purple cow. I never hope to see one. But I can tell you anyhow, I'd rather see than be one. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain, and all of us here at LibriVox hope that you have enjoyed our April foolery.